Hello, Professor. I shall say good afternoon. Uh, I pray that your holiday was very well. Mine's is very well as well. Um, now, this is uh, Unit 8. This is based on Roe versus Wade. And you wanted something pertaining to policy. And uh, I thought that it was a very historic, historic moment uh, pertaining to women. And though I'm a guy, I still can't even imagine <laughs> someone trying to tell me what I can and cannot do. Uh, we'll certainly have a problem. So with that said, without further ado, this is Roe vs. Wade. Uh, this is a landmark case based in uh, the beginnings from 1960 uh, to 1970. This is my Unit 8 project respectfully submitting to Professor Gillison and I know you hear my little uh, timer in the back because uh, I'm a stickler for time <laughs> what can I tell you with that said uh, my introduction now back in the late 1960s and early 1970s there was a very controversial case called Roe versus Wade this case was a landmark case that tried to remove the woman's right to choose. Now, Professor, the case was argued December 13th, 1971, and was decided January 22nd, 1973, and the judge was Mr. Uh, Justice Blackman from Texas. Now, to give further history, Miss Jane Doe was a single woman who, who resided in Dallas, Texas, or Dallas County, Texas. She sought a declaratory uh, judgment that the Texas criminal abortion statutes were unconstitutional. Roe alleged that she was unmarried and pregnant, but she wished to terminate her pregnancy by having an abortion. Now, I say even though I am a man, I believe that no government should have the right to tell anyone what they can or cannot do within the confines of their home. As long as that person is competent and understands their rights as well as the consequences of their choices. So, in conclusion, Texas violated her rights under the 1st, 4th, 5th, 9th and 14th Amendment. So I say to you, Professor, you know, it's very easy for the government, whether it's state, local, or anyone else, far as that matter go, to tell someone what to do. It's not right. It doesn't make it fair, neither. And we have to be cognizant of the fact that we're not violating someone's rights when we try to institute something. Uh, it's just totally, uh, it's not right. I don't agree with it, and I hope and pray that you don't agree with it, or anyone else that's viewing this video with you do not agree with it, because again, everyone has their own mind, and as long as you are in your right state of being, um, I don't foresee any problem with it. I truly don't. So, with that said, Professor, I'm giving you six different uh, reference materials that I have submitted to you in writing. I won't name them off, but I'm submitting them to you in writing. And I believe that's about it. Um, without further ado, again, this was the famous landmark case of Roe vs. Wade. It's an unprecedented case. Take care and thank you so much, Professor. Have a wonderful day, and I thank you so much for your time.